the start you like to see there. Punch in the mouth a little bit. And oh, yeah. Awesome. Come out quick, get them on their heels, keep pushing. Hopefully you guys can see better, and hopefully the scoreboard isn't in the way. I think those were the only two complaints we had the other night, so uh, aside from the ad video <laughs> incident. Shot is up, long, good, over the back. Brady. That's the first foul for the Liberty Eagles. Braden Brawley will be inbounding to Hayden Summers. Another two kids that have been playing since second grade together, so they know each other pretty well. Summers crosses the half court line, pulls up for a quick three. Shot is off, 32, Liberty brings down the rebound. I believe that is Garrett Greller. Cook went after another one there, but he uh, overreached a little bit, got a little overzealous again. Still early though. Liberty to inbound on the sideline. I don't have a 31 on here, so I don't know that kid. Three point shot is up, no good. Hayden Summers got a hand on it, but uh, number 12 from Liberty reached in, slapped the ball out. I believe that is. Barry, Barry back to Summers. Cross court pass to Cooper, Cooper for three. Off, off the, the glass. <laughs> we'll take it. We will take it. Summersville leads this thing 7-0 to zero fast. Yep, we like it. That's what we like. Mountain View getting set up in their half-court offense. Passing to number 12. Jump shot from the free throw line. Shot is off. Brawley with the rebound. Barry looks to push the action a little bit. Moving a little quicker up the court. Kicks it over to Cook. Cook for a deep three. Shot, oh. shot was flat, no rotation. Summers, Summers with the rebound. Nice little floater there by Summers. Just couldn't get it to go. Rimmed in and out. Another offensive and rebound. Barry tracks that one down. You're play-by-play. -play. What am I doing? Hey, you go ahead. Just don't talk over me. Out to Cooper again. Shot. And <laughs> another one off the glass. <laughs> hey, if it works, it works. We'll take it. 10-0, to zero, Summersville. Rolling early on in the first three minutes. All right, Liberty's looking to set it up again. Going to penetrate for a wide open layup. Nice Brawley defense did. by Brawley. Brawley but. stepped up just at the last moment. Two points for Liberty. Do you need that? Summers over to Cooper. Cooper hits Cook up top. Reverses it over to Barry. Oh, we should have ah, shot Barry that. He shot can hit out. that. Cook hits Cooper in the corner. No backboard on that side. And, he and it's it. in. He's sure three that, for three. Pretty sure that went through the rafters, though. <laughs> nice shot, Cooper. It doesn't matter. It's in the bucket. Hey, yeah, I'm not complaining. I'm not taking anything away from it. Liberty's looking for their high post. Kicks it back up to the top of the key. Kicks it over to a wing. Wing hits their low post. About a 10-foot jumper is off. Oh, wow. Wow. Cooper you. had the last hand on that, but the official said Liberty did, so we will take it. End of the game for Liberty's number 11. That is Adrian Pinnegraff. And again, if I'm saying the wrong names, I apologize. Everybody's messed up, jumbled up on this uh, paper, guys. We got Liberty fans watching, and I say the wrong name. Let us know, please. Summers brings the ball up. Drives in, kicks out to Cooper again. Cooper for another three. He's oh got another gosh. one. Four threes for Danny Cooper. Four threes in a row for Danny Cooper. That's four possessions for that boy. <laughs> Coach Chris Holland calls another timeout. Yeah. The second one. Hey, we'll take those all night long. <laughs> the boy shot probably 12 or 15 the other night and couldn't hit one. Hit the, sometimes didn't even touch rim. Now he's four for four. Here, I'll bring it over to us for a minute. That's a... Great start. That's an awesome start. 
that's a good way to get the fire going for the boys to where, you know, they continue to push the rest of the game. Push the rest of the game, and then, you know, your JV comes out and gets a solid win. Yep. That's, that's only going to encourage your varsity. Yep, that's always going to fire them up. You see the varsity, I'll switch over here. You see the varsity players up on the up in the bleachers, just like all the kids are. They're in the far left corner of the bleachers. Cheering them on. on the screen there, guys. So, yeah. Summersville stays the same. We have Summers, Barry, Brawley, Cook, and Cooper. Money shot, Cooper. We don't want to give him the announcer's jinx, but he is on fire this second. Mountain View's looking to push a little harder right now. Cook went for that when he gambled, didn't pay off. Number 20 scores for Liberty. That is Ashton Conley. Liberty will set up the pressure here. Oh, over. Summers turns the ball over. Throws it way too high for Raleigh. All right, Liberty on the way back down. Number 11 running point, Adrian Pentagraph. Kicks it out to number 20 again. He looks to penetrate. Little 10, 12-foot jumper. Good defense off. by Brawley and rebound Cooper chases by that one down. Hot shot. Money. <laughs> money ball, Cooper. Barry on the baseline. Yes. We'll give it back to. Going to be out of bounds off Barry. He tried to go behind the back. Didn't realize there was a player behind him. Hit off of uh, his leg. All right. Liberty's looking to set up an offense again. Slowed it down some, it looks like. Moving the ball pretty well right now at this point. Number 11, the Pentagraph. That's a good dribble drive. Takes it in. Nice one off the glass. Scores 16 to 6 right now. Summer struggles to get it to Barry, but Barry pushes it up, breaks the press. He's taking it all the way down. Nice little floater up and out. Brawley and Cooper standing there harassing number 12. Pentagraph brings the ball up, pushing the pace. Kicks it out to 20 for three. Shot is no good. The ball is going to be out of bounds. Fisher Russell's checking in for Braden Brawley. I'll tell you, Fisher Russell, like you said, we talked about it a little while ago. He hadn't played in a while, but I mean, he was he was impactful oh, yeah. on Tuesday night. Yeah, you could see the rust on him, but he was <laughs> he was beating it off. How about Hayden? Quick there. Summer's going coast to coast. Coast to coast. He's got to use that board. That's two floaters in a row for him. I know you're not supposed to use the board on them, but man. Pentagraph crossover to Conley. Conley looks for a cross court pass to 31. Nice little in the lane jumper off. 12 with the offensive rebound, can't connect. Cooper brings it down to Summers. That's three rebounds, I think, for Cooper right there. Cook's gonna shoot a three. Cook's gonna That's hit good. a three. Right now, we're living by them. This place is going to explode at the end of this quarter. Pendergraft takes it all the way. That is not the type of defense Coach Harrell wants to see. What was that, three offensive rebounds? Yeah. Boys have got to block out. Got to take better care of that ball. Summers finds himself in a bit of a trouble. And Coach seconds. Harrell takes a timeout. 30 seconds. The problem, the problem is when you jump out to a lead like that, you can get kind of complacent pretty pretty easily. Yeah, you get comfortable, a little too comfortable, and complacent, as you said, and a uh, little lazy on the defensive end, too. When's the last time we had a pep club that big? <laughs> I don't know. Probably about 10 years ago. At least 10 years ago. They've got tonight, I guess, is the, the little cheer cheerleaders are going to do a routine. This is one of those, I mean, this is a good opportunity for the boys as well. You know, you get a big crowd come out and then you you play well I mean that's what's going to bring them back yeah Summers is going to have to quit coming to this corner he's getting himself uh, almost stuck in a trap now he's going to inbound the ball here in front of the bench he's going to look Cook comes up baseline sideline I apologize Summers is looking to get it that's a reach foul all day long yeah he's trying to dribble around it 20 to He was trying to dribble around it, but refs aren't going to get everything. But that was a hard reach foul. I mean, that was all body in and come across the across the body. Barry's looking to get it across. He gets it up to Fisher Russell. Fisher with a nice pass to Cooper. Oh, Cooper <laughs> takes it under the basket and gets fouled on the shot. He'll gets be shooting too. Clobbered in the brain. Hey, he just hit four threes on him. They're not going to give him any give me's. Yeah, they're probably thinking this kid's the best player on the team. Well, right now he's top scorer. That's for sure. 
He has 12 of the 19. First free throw is going to be up, and it's good. 20 to 8.
And the number 12, Matthews. Pentagraph with the shot. Reese with the flying rebound. Summersville's not rebounding the ball. They're going to have to get in there and get it. Cooper pulls down that. Cook, mid range jumper. Raleigh fights for that rebound. We got a foul on Liberty. Looks like it's going to be on number 24. That is Wyatt Honeycutt. 34, I apologize, not 24. Hayden Summers, the inbound under Summersville's basket. As 31 and 32 check back in for Liberty. 32 is Garrett Reller, and I do not have 31 down here. Ball's inbounded to Cooper up top. Kicks it over to Barry, Barry to Cook. Cook with the ball, three-point baseline, back up to Barry up top. Cooper wants it. Yeah, Cooper for three again. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> Almost again off the board. He might need to back up. Pentagraph pushes the ball. No defense at all from Summersville right there. They're content to just stand there and let them dribble by. And yeah, they just kind of reached in, slapped, and. As a coach, I know you, I mean, for me personally, I hate reaching fouls because that means you're not moving your feet. Summersville set in the 2-3 zone, so one of those boys have got to pick the ball up. Once again, he penetrates right past him. Brawley chases down the rebound. Gives it up to Summers. Cook. Summers over to Barry. Barry up to Cooper. Cooper with another deep three. Fell short. Four for six. Pentagraph takes it all the way to the basket for two. That is 22-14. Summersville still leads. They're going to have to go pick up the defense, that's for sure. Summers almost turns that ball over but gets possession. Then he turns it over. Layup by... Liberty is good. Summers is, dribbles through the defense. Over to Cook. Cook's taking it all the way in. Off the board, misses. Matthews pulls down the rebound. Pentagraph with a nice crossover. Pulls up at the free throw line. Jumpers off. Off of blue what the official says, so it'll be Summersville ball. Point, well not 20, but 16 at one point. I raise no foul count's going to be five to five, tied up. One minute, three seconds left in the first half of this ball game. Cook with the ball. Kicks it over to Barry. Barry to Brawley. Brawley out to Cooper. 
Cooper with a high three. Right there, Conley turned the ball. Twenty-eight to twenty. I right, go back into it because, I mean. Thought that was coming. JV. We've got to pick up on the defensive end. We're getting excited. He's pushing the ball up, so our boys are still running down the court with their back turned, and he's right there behind them. And you got Conley or Reese on, you know, one wing or the other. So our boys are going to have to get past the celebration part a lot quicker. Right. And be turned around ready for defense because. Summersville versus Liberty JV Action. Welcome to Summersville Wildcats Live. Hey, Andy Earls here, your owner operator. I just want to say thank you for tuning in with us and for all of the support. This is the first year of SWL, and we are excited to bring it to you week in and week out. We also want to say thank you to all of our amazing sponsors that you're about to see and hear in this ad video. We'll be back live with the game action shortly, and we hope you enjoy this production. Go Wildcats. Hey, I love bringing you the SWL live streams in my spare time. But when I'm not here, I'm at Baldwin Chevrolet in Popper Bluff, Missouri. I have been selling cars for 15 years now and love the opportunity to earn your business. Four lots full of new and pre-owned vehicles to choose from. The majority of these are backed by a lifetime warranty at no charge to you. Come see me at Baldwin Chevrolet or call me directly at 501 413 9715. I look forward to seeing you. A big shout out to our primary sponsor, Security Bank of the Ozarks. They have five locations, six different 24 hour ATMs, offering mobile banking, online bill pay, mobile deposits, and much more. They also have a debit card fraud monitoring app that you can check your balance on, as well as many other functions. Visit them online at www.sbozarks.com. Security Bank of the Ozarks. Go Wildcats.
your primary sponsor, Current Incorporated out of West Plains, Missouri. Family owned and operated since 19... 19-